Alpha Males vs. Sigma Males Everything you need to know from their differences and similarities to how each of them attracts women and even how to recognize them at first glance under particular circumstances. So which do women actually prefer? Stay tuned because we're about to find out! Welcome to Viral Brain, where we focus on the psychology of personality. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified whenever we release new content. Now let's start with the similarities. Both the Alpha and Sigma male personality archetypes sit on top of the social hierarchy. They're both ambitious and high achievers, they're good leaders, and they both score well with the ladies. However, each of them has his own way of doing that, which brings us to their differences. But first, you should know that when I say Alpha or Sigma in this video, I'm referring to a perfect model who is 100% Alpha or Sigma, which is quite unrealistic. The vast majority of men fall somewhere in the middle on this spectrum. You could be 70% Alpha, 30% Sigma, or 60% Beta, 40% Alpha, or whatever. And even that can change over time if the circumstances of your life drive you to become a certain way, or if you simply want to become a certain archetype and you work on it. So, let's get back to the differences. 1. First and foremost, the biggest difference between an Alpha and a Sigma is their perspective on society. And pretty much everything else stems from that perspective. To sum this up, Alphas desire and acquire social validation. Sigmas don't really care. For example, you'll always find Alphas talk about their achievements, and they try to steer the conversation to a topic they're competent in, while a Sigma is confident and silent. He's the guy that surprises everyone with his achievements, and you'll often hear people saying things like this, Wow, I didn't think he could do that, or there's more to you than meets the eye. People mistake this for humility, but in truth, being Sigma doesn't contribute to you being humble or arrogant. This silence comes from a place of nonchalance. They don't really care about what people think of them, so they don't feel the need to paint a good image of themselves. Alphas do. Alphas like to wear expensive, look fresh, and listen to trendy music so they appear cool or on top of everything. Sigmas commonly have weird and various music tastes of stuff they deeply love. Oh, and by the way, this is how you can tell the difference between an Alpha and a Sigma in one second. If it's really cold, an Alpha would still try to look good by wearing a leather jacket or something. A Sigma can look nice too, but if driven by harsh conditions like freezing cold, you'll find him wearing the sweater his grandma made him last Christmas because it's comfy, and that silly hat because it makes his ears warm. And the leadership department, Alphas care about their image and often remind people of their authority. Sigmas aren't afraid to do what needs to be done even if it's unbecoming of a leader. 2. Alphas are more likely to have anxious thoughts because of how much they think about how people see them. Sigmas are more likely to have paranoid thoughts because of how much time they spend thinking alone. 3. An Alpha is threatened by Sigmas because they're rebellious, so he fears that they might dispute his authority or take his place. A Sigma is threatened by Alphas because he knows they may have the power to confine them, and a Sigma hates being controlled. In fact, some Sigmas dedicate their entire lives teaching other people to also hate being controlled. 4. Sigmas are self-sufficient on their own. Alphas are self-sufficient because of their investment in the social hierarchy. When an Alpha needs something, he thinks who. When a Sigma needs something, he thinks how. 5. While being an Alpha or a Sigma doesn't necessarily determine whether a man is an introvert or an extrovert, Alphas tend to be more extroverted in general. Their worst punishment would be solitary confinement, as they constantly seek the company of people to refill their energy. Their favorite activities are things like sports or social gatherings where they can be in the spotlight. Sigmas don't mind the company and sometimes can enjoy it, but they also appreciate their alone time. They love doing things like writing, watching movies, or listening to music. Before we continue, it's important that you start thinking about which archetype you're leaning towards, because the fact is, you need to align your major character attributes with your male personality type if you want to succeed in life. Meaning, if you feel like you're majorly Sigma, you need to occupy a role in which you would thrive as a Sigma, and vice versa. For example, 
A managerial role wouldn't be as good as something in creative design. You're the guy behind the curtains who runs everything well away from the spotlight. You're the man who makes the magic happen without revealing any of your tricks. Which takes us to… 6. Alphas love the spotlight. They crave it and they get it. They're their best selves on a stage or in front of an audience. Sigmas appreciate quietness when they're working. They love working in isolation and find ways to get their creative juices flowing and produce a masterpiece. 7. Alphas are very good at reading people and sizing up situations. Sigmas are more self-focused and they find this alpha skill particularly impressive. 8. Alphas are aggressive, loud, and opinionated. They want to come across as know-it-all and they see ignorance as weakness. Sigmas are mostly calm and passive, and you'll hear them saying things like, I don't really have an opinion on that. They often say they're not well informed on that topic, but the truth is, they could easily inform themselves if they want to, they just don't really care. You'll find Sigmas highly informed only in specific topics, these are the things they really care about. 9. Alphas might give up or delegate tasks if they become too complicated or difficult. Sigmas take it upon themselves and rise to the occasion to get the task done, no matter how much time or resources it takes, because of their high sense of responsibility. 10. For an alpha, walking away is always difficult, because he's so invested in society and he feels responsibility towards the pack. This applies to everything from friendship, to work, to a relationship. A Sigma, on the other hand, never involved himself in a way that would make walking away problematic. A Sigma male is often liked and respected by members of work, but make no mistake, if he grows tired of it, he will walk away. 11. Alphas take decisions quickly and they stick by them, even if everyone around them says they're wrong. They're often seen as stubborn and uncompromising, but the truth is, it's just too difficult for them to admit they were wrong because they care too much about their image among the tribe. They take decisions now, face the consequences later. Sigmas follow a more prudent approach. They take their time before any important decision, and they're likely to ask for others' advice. They're often seen as slow, and this delay can sometimes cost them valuable opportunities. But when they do make a decision, they know for a fact it's the right one, and it usually is. And for our final point before we get into the spicy stuff, 12. Alphas would sacrifice almost anything for the sake of their families or their tribe, and they reap the benefit of this in love and support from this tribe. Sigmas, however, altruism is among the least likely virtues you'd find in a Sigma male. Yes, they care about their friends and family, and they love them, but their own goals and happiness always comes first. This is why when alphas fall, it leaves scratches, but when sigmas fall, it leaves scars. Okay, now that you have a clear idea of the alpha and sigma archetypes, it's time to talk about something all men care about, women. Women are naturally attracted to alpha males because of their high social status and power. From an evolutionary perspective, they're drawn to the male who can provide and protect. And please. Don't go, oh, these effing gold diggers. It's completely natural for females to seek a partner who would provide and protect, even if not for her, at least for their offspring. Sigmas, on the other hand, they're attractive because of the mysterious and unattainable vibe they give off. The fact that he can't be tied down to a prolonged relationship drives the ladies crazy. He's a free spirit, and women always feel like they want to be the one who tamed him. This also makes a Sigma's intimate life always steamy and full of desire, because she knows he could walk away at any second, so she's constantly trying to impress him and keep him interested with new and bold things. On the other hand, if the Alpha has a big appetite, he's more likely to seek the companionship of multiple partners, because he would feel that one woman isn't enough. By the way, ladies, I promised an important tip, and here it is. Determining what archetype your partner is and dealing with him accordingly can improve your relationship so much. If he's alpha, give him his prestige. Never put him in a situation in which he loses face, and don't question his dominance. You can do whatever you want with the relationship as long as you make him feel that he's in control, even if sometimes you are. 
Treat him like a grumpy child whom you're being super lenient with because he didn't take his nap today, and make him feel like you depend on him in some way, even if just emotionally or psychologically. And if he's a Sigma, give him space. Sigma males are born to be free, so don't ever make them feel confined. They value their time and resources above anything, and they are willing to forsake companionship to achieve their goals. It might take time, but if you convince a Sigma male that your relationship is adding to him rather than taking from him, they're actually the most loyal and devout personality archetype. Be his motivation, push him to be productive, and help him fulfill his ambitions even if just by being supportive, and he will love you forever. This is it for our video on Sigma vs Alpha males, their differences, similarities, and who's more attractive to women. If you felt like this video had some eye-opening insights, give it a like, and let us know whether you're a Sigma or an Alpha male in the comments section below.